taking a round lid and I'm putting it in the middle of the back of my paper plate and I'm going to trace that. This side of the paper plate is the one that you definitely need to decorate because it's what you'll see when we put our cup together. Here you'll need to choose what materials you want to use and what sort of pattern. I'm going to use acrylic paints to create a sunset effect. So I'll start with red acrylic paint and then some orange and then finally some yellow. orange paint I'm mixing yellow and red. When this side dries, you might like to colour the other side as well, but I'm just going to keep mine white. In the meantime, I'm going to put it aside to dry and I'm going to start another style. For this one, I'm going to paint the inside of my plate yellow. for a couple of hours and now they're dry. So this yellow will be on the inside of my cup. I need to decorate the outside now. Placing my round lid in the middle and tracing it again. Because the inside of the cup is going to be yellow and sunny, I thought it might be good to do a contrast on this side by doing the night sky with stars.
no one's going to actually see the white circle in the middle of the stars but it kind of looks like the moon to me so I'm going to add some shapes on it to make it look more like the moon. It's actually the base of the cup so it's, it's like a secret part of the artwork. Let that dry. Remember this circle we drew at the start on this one? Well, what you're going to do now is line up a ruler and draw from the edge of the circle out to the edge of the paper plate and then do a crosswise one. We want to make eight segments, so we're going to repeat the exact same process again on the diagonal. Carefully cut along each line until you reach the line of the inner circle. Now turn it over and place that round lid in the center. We're going to use the curve of that lid to help make rounded folds for each of our segments so once we put our cup together it will have a nice round base. Grab a stapler because it's time to put our beautiful cup together. So I like to match the edge of one of the segments to the middle of the one in front. And I also like the overlaps going the same way. You don't have to do exactly the way I'm doing it, it's just the way I like it. Let's see how the nighttime scene looks as a cup. Feel free to use your ruler to work out the segments, but if you're confident, you might feel that you can do it freehand now. with our secret detail on the bottom. What would you put in your decorative cup? 
it doesn't hold liquid but you could put treasures you could put stationery paper flowers or dried flowers really whatever you like 